doing it right the first time every time. Boaz first pitch comes across the strike zone to the lefty Blake Jackson and we are underway. 0-2, oh, grounded through the right side past the shift and into right center field. Carolina had him play to pull, hit that the other way and uh, Gamecocks have a one out base runner with no score in the top half of the first inning. Another 3-2 pitch from Boaz to Jones. It's over the outside corner and down he goes looking strike three. I think all of them are in the top 17 in the, the uh, country. 1-2, and Honeycutt punched out looking the 0-1. Ground ball back through the middle, and it slides into center field. It went past Eskew, and then it split tip at the shortstop, and Nolan the second baseman, and Carolina's got a two-out base runner. Nine games against them in the regular season. Bouncing ball left side. It comes to the third baseman. Lee Croy fields and throws and gets Harbor by a step to end the inning. Over above us in uptown Charlotte. Boaz challenged him, bouncing ball left side. It jumped over the glove of a diving Gavin Gallagher at third base and squirts into shallow left field. Tricky play for the freshman to make as a single. First pitch, Reeves. Bloops a base hit over the shortstop, Wilkerson, and it softly falls into left in front of Cook. Lee Croy advances to second. Reeves arrives at first. Boaz checks the runner at second, goes back to the slider and punches out Brewer looking for strike three. Another 2-2 pitch from Boaz. And another strikeout as Tippett goes down swinging. That's the third strikeout of the game. Osuna grounds through the mound past the second baseman. Nolan tried to backhand it. And the Tar Heels have a leadoff runner aboard. Osuna, who grew up in Malden in South Carolina. It's on the way. And it's bounced over to second base. Nolan flips to Tippett, who throws over to first. And Casas has the 4-6-3 double play completed. Second offering from Eskew. That's pounded into the turf, third base side. Here comes Lee Crow with a big throw, and it's dropped by the first baseman, Casas. The ball, the runner, and Casas all converged at the exact instant he touched the base, and Gallagher safe. Eskew's 2-1 to the plate. Madera lines it back to the mound. Eskew knocks it down with his glove, flips it casually to Casas, and it's inning over. Petri makes contact on the first pitch and drives a single into right field. South Carolina for the third consecutive inning has a one-out single. But it's the same kind of a, a situation, though. 2-2 two, two fastball. That's hit the other way into left. And South Carolina again has runners at first and second with one down. Nolan reaches safely for the first time. Boaz delivers a payoff pitch down and in, and that walks Jones, loading the bases. First walk of the night. The 0-2, Pence gets a ground ball over to first base. Harbor's only play is to step on the bag after looking to second. He took the sure out. South Carolina gets the game's first run. Petrie scores, and it's 1-0 Gamecocks. Pence sends the 2-2 to the plate and sends Lee Croy back into the dugout with a swing and a miss, strike three. The 3-1. Down and in, ball four, and Wilkerson takes a five-pitch walk down to first. Tar Heels have the leadoff man aboard for a second consecutive inning. Honeycutt leads the ACC in strikeouts. This is a ground ball over to third base. Backhanded attempt by Lee Croy. Knocked it down. Can't get a throw off. And Honeycutt safe at first. Wilkerson didn't move off second. The Tar Heels have two on with one down. The table very much set for Casey Cook. The count one and one to Cook. The pitch. Grounded to second base. Nolan flips to Tippett. And the Gamecocks turn two for a second consecutive inning. Penn's first pitch bunted towards the first base side of the mound and nobody's covering first as Harbor came in to field the ball. Penn stayed put, Madera couldn't get over there in time and Brewer reaches on an infield single. That's a well-placed bunt. The one, two, and he got him with a nasty slider. Strike three, inning over, and more. That's the Carolina Spring football game, April the 20th. First pitch in the bottom half of the fourth. Parks Harbor lines to second base, and Nolan makes a diving catch on the outfield cut. Osuna's one for one with a single, and he might be two for two. Big fly, deep left center field, into the seats and gone. Osuna slides into second base. Kyle, it looked like that might have hit the yellow line up above the wall, but it's going down as a double. And that's outside, ball four. 
The Irish coming to town for a three-game set. The 3-1, Gallagher. One hopper over to Short. Tip it to Nolan, to Casas. Where have we seen that before? South Carolina turns two for the third time and gets off the field, ending the Tar Heels threat in the bottom half of the fourth. There's been some good ball players. 3-1 inside, and Houck walks the first man that he faces. Petri reaches for the third time. Teen out of his last 20. And now he's got another base hit. Ground ball past second and into right. Nolan to first, Petri to second. Gets him swinging strike three. And Jones down on strikes for the second time. And he got him swinging strike three. And he got him swinging. Hauk strikes out the side after Petri took a leadoff walk and Nolan singled, kicks and fires. And Madera goes down on a high fastball, swinging strike three. Two balls and two strikes to Wilkerson. And he fans on a high fastball. It's back-to-back -back case for Kimball, the 3-2 pitch. D'Onofrio swings and misses at strike three. Reeves to go the opposite way by a bit. Won't matter, though, as Hauk fans him, and that's four in a row. He stayed in the state to finish things up as he drives a big fly to left center. Honey cuts back, and Honey cut watches the ball go over his head. Long throw back into the infield, and Brewer arrives at second with a double. The count nothing and two to Tippett. And now Tippett goes down looking at strike three. Five strikeouts, the payoff pitch to Jackson. And that sends us to the home half of the sixth. Jackson goes down looking at a fastball. Two balls and two strikes. The count is Kimball sets and fires. And Honeycutt swings and misses. And then you ended up eventually getting the double play ball as well. 1-0 lifted into shallow center field. Tip at the shortstop. It's back twisting and turning and falling backwards to make the catch. He's out there for his defense, and it doesn't let him down. 3-1 pitch upstairs, and Parks takes a five-pitch walk. The payoff pitch, runner takes off, and Osuna goes down swinging on strike three. Kimball with five strikeouts. The payoff pitch, and that's strike three looking. And he knew it right away. Hal got him with a pitch on the outside corner. That's seven strikeouts for the Tar Heels reliever on this roster last year. First pitch, line pass first base. Kennedy Jones has a two-out single. And he's aboard for the second time with his first base hit. He went hunting that first pitch. South Carolina's outscored the Diamond Hills 20 to two in the last two meetings. There's a fly ball to right. Won't challenge the track, and it won't challenge D'Onofrio. He makes the easy catch. Marlott from the windup. Punches out Stevenson looking to advance the College World Series. Payoff pitch upstairs, and Gallagher takes a one out walk. The 1-1. One -one. Pull down the line and right. That'll fall fair and get into the corner. Gavin Gallagher on the run around second. Coach Forbes sends him around third. There won't be a throw, and we're tied. Colby Wilkerson with a two-on RBI double knots this game at one in the home half of the seventh. That's a big smack by Wilkerson. His 15th RBI, his fourth double. And this game right back to square one. The 2-2 with Wilkerson at second. And D'Onofrio goes down swinging to end the inning. The payoff pitch upstairs, and Mateus lost him. Bunt shown by Reeves, the pitch on the way. It's pushed over towards first, and Harbor gets to it, tags the runner out, and that moves Lee Croy over to second base, so Reeves gets the job done with the sack bunt, the 0-1. There's a fastball hammered into the gap in right center field. That'll get down near the warning track and score Lee Croy to give South Carolina a 2-1 lead. Brewers looking for three. The throw comes in, and he's safe. It looked like the throw beat him, but the third base umpire, Doug Vines, called him safe, and South Carolina has retaken the advantage in the eighth. This will be a big review, though, because South Carolina could have a runner third and one down, or if the call is overturned, it's two down and the bases are clear. And the strikeouts have loomed large again as well as we go back down to the field and the call at third base is out. First, the one-two pitch from Mateus to tip it, inning over on the swinging strike three. The 30 years of Carolina baseball. The one-one, not a home run, but 
Will he reach on the dribbler towards third? He gets down the line with no throw. And Carolina's got a two-out base runner. The 3-2 offering to Osuna. Gets him looking, strike three. The ball got away momentarily from Reeves, but the throw down to first gets him. And South Carolina gets out of trouble. 21 RBIs. But he strikes out here in post and gets his man. The one-two. Poston punches him out looking, and down goes Petri. Gamecocks up a run. The pitch from Poston. It's another strikeout. Got him on the high fastball swinging. Poston strikes out the side. Right-handed pitcher, left-handed hitter. The 2-2, two -two and Stevenson fans strike three. The Gamecocks go to Florida. There's a bouncing ball up the middle. Backhanded by the second baseman, Nolan. Throws on target and on time to Casas. And Gallagher out. Four to three. Payoff pitch is on the way. And that's strike three looking. Madera shakes his head, but McCreary and company celebrate a 2-1 win over the Diamond Heels. South Carolina gets a well-earned win over the number 13 team in the country. Mm-hmm.